good morning children welcome back to mathematics online class so today we are going to learn about fraction so sir already given examples and uh, what is fraction definition of fraction and examples already sir told you so children briefly i am going to explain and i will start the exercise 5.1 so fraction chapter 5 that is fractions fractions so what is fraction first sir given so many examples it is clearly explained also what is fraction what is numerator what is denominator how to write the fraction these are all things sir clearly explained you before going to the exercise 5.1 so brief one two minutes i am going to explain about fraction then i will start the exercise so children what is a fraction don't what i am now teaching don't write in class of just listen okay what is a fraction fraction is a part of whole what is fraction fraction is a part of whole so what is fraction fraction is part of part of a part of a whole so it should be divide into whole into divide the whole into equal parts divide divide the whole into into equal parts so fraction is a part of whole it should be divided into equal parts example is that this is circle so this is called full whole you see full whole means full one apple full one uh, pomegranate full one ball full one whole means uh, full one so this is one circle this is one circle we have to divide the whole into equal parts this we have to divide into equal parts sorry sir divide into equal parts this is how this is how so how we are going to write this part this this is full one this is called one whole full this is one so how many parts we are divided this whole two equal parts one by two okay children so fraction is a part of whole divide the whole into equal parts this is full one whole one circle take it as an apple whatever it may be this is full one whole we are divided into equal parts one by two one we are divided into two parts this is called fraction so within explanation about fraction so one is what is one so i have given example so many example this is numerator and denominator so this is numerator and this is denominator numerator and this is denominator okay so fraction is a part of whole that whole should be divided into two equal parts so we are we are to form a circle we divided this circle into two equal parts so one by two one is the numerator and two is a denominator so children there are again 
uh, in fraction there are types of fractions are there proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction in fifth standard you have only this much only fraction there is a no uh, types of fraction is not there equivalent fraction is there which is greater which is a uh, smaller so types of fraction you are going to learn in sixth standard so now exercise 5.1 1 exercise 5.1 exercise 5.1 so in exercise 5.1 which of the following figures have been divided into parts of the same side see the children you have uh, which of the following figures have been divided into parts of the same side 1 2 3 4 circles are given 1 2 3 4 so we have to identify which figure is having what is that divided into which of the figure have been divided into same size same size or equal size this is a b c d so which of the which are divided into two uh, divided into equal parts this is not equal only this much is shaded this much is shaded this is not equal so this b is a divided into full circle divided into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight parts four only shaded so this is divided into equal parts 1 2 3 4 eight are divided into the circle is divided into full equal parts so four is shaded this is uh, divided into equal parts this is a full circle divided into half one uh, half mark is given only remaining all shaded this is this and this are equal b this full circle only they are given this much circle this much another one circle this is not equal so answer is b and c are the divided into equal parts first problem first exercise 5.2 exercise 5.2 exercise 5.2 the following following figures figures have have been have been divided into into parts of the same size so first one Divided into one, two, three, four. All are equal size. This is B. This 
disease. Now, just I finished 
page number 55 that is exercise 5.1 first problem now i am going to teach you second problem draw a line or lines to divide the divide each of the each of the these figures into required number of equal parts so see children first one given it uh, one uh, diagram is given one diagram is given that diagram we have to divide into two equal parts so one rectangle is given one rectangle is given we have to make the rectangle in four parts so what is that four parts equal or unequal so fraction is a what is a fraction fraction is a part of a whole that divided into equal parts so we have to make these two equal parts and four equal parts six equal parts this is last one e that is eight equal parts first we have to uh, make in this two equal parts and second is four equal parts third is a six equal parts eight is a eight uh, last one is eight equal parts so second problem draw a line or lines line or lines lines to divide each 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 of the each of each of these these figures figures into the required required number of equal parts required number of equal equal parts okay children here some diagrams some figures are given we have to divide that uh, diagrams into given number of parts first one so this is two parts so shall i make diagram little bit small because there is no place so this is two parts how many parts are to make it two parts one rectangle is given this is four parts how many parts we have to make how many equal parts okay how many equal parts four equal parts four equal parts now another one diagram is given that we have to make six equal parts One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts. I So this we have to make a eight parts. 
eight parts. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight parts. So this is difficulty. I think it's a little bit difficult to understand. I will make one up and explain again. So shall I shall I shall I write it here? This is like this two way. It is there in test book. See the test book. Is like this E. So I have made this one into eight parts. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is like this. How many parts? Eight parts. Regarding this, any doubts? Call me. I will explain again next class. Tomorrow's class. This is A equal parts. So, once again, draw a line or lines to divide the each of these figures into the required number of equal parts. This is two equal parts. This is four equal parts. This is six equal parts. This is eight equal parts. This is your Second problem. So keep test book with you. Don't uh, roam here and there. Sit a comfortable place and watch the classes. Don't sit some sometime here, sometime there. Sit comfortably. How you sit in the class? Sit like that only in the home and see the this YouTube classes. This is two parts, this is four parts, this is six parts, this is eight parts. Now children, problem bit number 3. Write the following as a fraction. Some fractions are given. In words it is given, we have to mention the number. So 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, how we are going to write in a fraction manner 1 by 2. One is the uh, one is the numerator, two is, two is a denominator. Like that, we have to go to we have we are going to write some A, B, C, D, E, F uh, up to J. It is given. We have to write the fractions. So this is clear. I think so, children. Any doubts after the class? Call regarding this and first problem. Shall I up? I think it is over. Children, we have already posted test portion in test portion uh, first uh, first uh, this additions and uh, subtraction in subtraction 3.2 is not there only up to 
3.1 is the upcoming test that is on Sunday. So prepare for test also. Any doubts in that first uh, addition, sign, subtraction for test portion? Call us. We will help you. We will. I will take that doubts also. I will teach once again. Second one. Write, write each of the following following as a fraction. Okay. So a. Half. Half means one by one by two. B two third two third two by three. C one. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Two by ten. Half one by two. Two third two by three. Two ten two by. Ten. And D one, D one, five, five, seven. What is this? Five, seven. So how you are going to write five by seven? Five seven. Five by seven. So half one by two, two two third two by two by three, two ten two by ten, five ten ten five seven. This is two ten. Sorry, this is two ten. This is five by seven. So five seven. E. E five sixteen. Yeah, five. E five sixteen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three double E N three H sixteen. Five by sixteen. So half one by two, two third two by three, two ten two by ten, five seven five by seven, five sixteen five by. Sixteen. A B C D E O. So now, yep. So write each of the following as a fraction. Write each of the following as a fraction. Half two by third two tenths five seven e five sixteen. And yeah, eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine, eight by nine. H four, four, nine. Four by nine. Still, and other day I told you fraction is a part of whole. What is this half, two third, two tenths, five seven, five sixteen? 
So this is fraction is one whole is divided into so many parts. One by two. So one is divided into two parts. Two thirds. So whole is a two. Two is a two whole is divided into three parts. Okay. Two by three. So two ten. Two is a whole. It is divided into ten. Equal parts and five seven five is the whole. It is divided into seven equal parts. Five sixteen five is the whole divided into sixteen equal parts. Eight nine eight is the whole. It is divided into nine equal parts. Four nine four is the whole divided into nine equal parts. H after H I J I three four D four three by four three by four I last one J J two fifth. What is that? Two fifth. Two two fifth. Two fifth. So five by seven. Five by sixteen. Eight by nine, four by nine, three by three, four, and two fifth. Is a bit number. Bit number three. Write the each of the following as a fraction. So first one half, second one two third, third one two ten, fourth one five seven. One two three four fifth one five sixteen seven sixty one five eleven seventh one seventh one eight nine eight one four nine ninth one three four last one two fifth. These are right each of the following as a fraction. It is the given like this. We wrote. This numerical fraction. This is in words. This is in numerical fraction. Two third two by five. Two third two by five. First one half one by two. Two third two by three. Two ten two by ten. Five seven seventh five by seven five sixty five by sixty eight nine eight by nine four nine four by nine three four three by four two fifth two by five. This is third problem. First one, first bit, second bit. This is third bit. Now, moving on to next bit. That is fourth bit. Any doubts regarding my class? Regarding my teaching? Any doubts? Any problem? Please call us on this number. Any difficulty? You need a little bit uh, slow 
or you need uh, any detailed explanation any doubts any questions please ask so for big right so in first bit in first bit it is given in words we have to write we have to we have to mention it is in a numerical in a numbers in a fourth bit write each of the following in a words so numbers are refers to third problem numbers in fraction is given we have to write in a words suppose 20 we have to write in words of spelling Given. Like this, previous it is given. Twenty is given. We wrote the twenty number. So in this uh, number is given. We have to write in the words. Number is given. We have to write the action in the words. Like each of the action. fraction fraction in the words words two by five three by four Seven by ten. B. Seven by twelve. E. Two by three. Right. Each of the each of the following fraction. In the words, so reverse to the next step. Previously, what we studied, what we wrote, figures are given. We wrote, we wrote figures are given. We wrote that in the numbers. So here, numbers are given. We have to write in the words. So first one, two fifth, two fifth. Two, fifth, three, four, three, four, seven, ten, seven, ten, seven, ten. Eleven, twelve. Eleven, twelve. E W E L V E T H. Eleven, twelve. Okay. Two, four. Two, four. So. First one, two, fifth, two by, two by five, two fifth, and three four, three by four, three four, seven by ten, seven tens, eleven by twelve, eleven twelve, and two by third, two two by three, two third. How to read this one? Write each of the following fraction. Each of the fraction in words: two by five, two fifth, three by four, three by three, four, three by four. We have to read it. How we are going to read? Three, four, seven by ten, seven tenth, eleven by twelve, eleven twelfth. T H. Two third, two by three, two. Third. Two point two by.
and uh, how many parts we have to divide that uh, figure it is also given and uh, write each of the following uh, fraction as a fraction uh, what is given we uh, write we wrote uh, uh, numbers fraction numbers and uh, uh, fourth bit write each of the fraction in words one number is one fraction is given we wrote that fraction in words now fifth bit fifth bit one uh, diagram is given and uh, in the in the diagram so some part is shaded how much part is shaded we have to write this is uh, we are going to learn in next class thank you children